Good morning, students. How are you? I'm Miss Sandra, and today we are going to review the contents that we've already learned in the previous classes. So, the objective for today's class is the following. To identify vocabulary related to descriptions through a song and dialogues in order to apply the structure have got and has got. Let's begin. Open your class book at page 21. We have four pictures, A, B, C and D, and four sentences. Okay? Read number one. Read with me. He's got curly hair. Number two. Have you got curly hair? Yes, I have. Number three, I've got curly hair. Number four, have you got curly hair? No, I haven't. Okay, so you have five minutes to match the sentences to the pictures. Okay? Hi again. Did you do the exercise? Okay, so now we are going to check your answers. Okay, in picture A, there's a girl pointing to herself. In picture B, there's a boy pointing to his friend. Está señalando a su amigo. In letter C, there are two friends talking to each other, hablando entre ellos. In letter D, there are two friends, one, two, talking to each other, too. Okay, so letter A goes with number three. I've got curly hair. Yo tengo el cabello ondulado. Letter B goes with, do you know? Letter Number one. Very good. He's got curly hair. Él tiene el cabello ondulado. He's got curly hair. Letter C goes with number four. Have you got curly hair? No, I haven't. ¿Tienes tú el cabello ondulado? No, no lo tengo. Have you got curly hair? No, I haven't. Okay. A letter D goes with number two. Have you got curly hair? ¿Tienes tú el cabello ondulado? Yes, I have. Well done. So, letter D goes with number two. So, we are going to continue working on page number 21. Okay, look at exercise 3. Look at the pictures and heading at home. This is Alex and this is Lucy. Where are they? ¿Dónde están? Where are they? At home. Okay, so who's got a new friend? ¿Quién tiene un nuevo amigo? Is he a boy or a girl? He's a boy. Very good. So, who's got a new friend? So, we are going to read and you are going to follow the words with your finger. Fingers ready. Okay. Are you ready? Ears ready? Finger ready? Okay, so one, two, three. Let's read. Listen and repeat. At home. One. I've got a new friend. Oh, is it a girl or a boy? Two. 
A boy. What does he look like? He's got long white and black hair. Three. And green eyes. Oh. Four. His name is Smokey. <laughs> He's a cat. Do you read the dialogue? Do you follow the words? Okay, so who's got a new friend? Alex or Lucy? Alex, very good. He's got a cat. How does his new friend look like? What color is his hair? He's got long, white, and black hair. Very good. What color are his eyes? ¿De qué color son sus ojos? Green. Very good. So, he's got green eyes. Very good. Well done. Let's continue. This exercise is from your activity book. So, open it on page number 19. We are going to focus on the sounds. Nos vamos a enfocar en el sonido. Look, there's a zebra. Zzz, like a bee. Zzz, como una abeja. Zzz, zebra. Okay. And there's a snake. Okay. With letter S. Snake. So, we are going to classify these words according to their sound, de acuerdo a su sonido, ¿ok? So, listen and write the word in the correct column, ¿ok? Three. Sort and write. Listen, check and repeat. Zebra. Eyes. Ears, nose, snake, mouse, tortoise, stomach. So now, sort, check, and repeat. Okay? So the first word is... Eyes. Eyes. Okay. Eyes. Very good. Eyes. Well done. The next word. Ears. 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 Goes here too. Very good. Okay. Nose. Mouse. Snake. Mouse. Okay. Mouse. Right here. And nose. Nose. Okay. Mouse. Tortoise. 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 Letter. Is tortoise very good? Stomach, 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 right here. Very good. Now go on exercise number two. Do you remember who is she? Fifi the dog. Very good. Okay. And do you remember the song? Yes? Great! Okay, so in this exercise, we are going to read the sentences and decide which one is correct. Okay, 
So, how are we going to do this? ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? With the song. Ok, so you had to put a tick in the box to the right sentence. She's got blue eyes. Has she got blue eyes? She's got brown eyes. Has she got brown eyes? She's got green eyes. Has she got green eyes? Okay, here. She's got big ears. She's got short ears. She's got dirty ears. She's got blonde hair. She's got long hair. She's got curly hair. Okay, so we are going to listen to the song and you are going to decide which one, which sentence is correct. Okay, vamos a escuchar la canción y tú vas a decidir qué oración es correcta. Okay, here we go. Listen and sing Fifi the Dog. She's got brown eyes, she's got brown eyes, she's got brown eyes, that queen of jazz. Fifi the dog, Fifi the dog, the queen of jazz and razzmatazz. Bow wow wow, bow wow wow, she's got brown eyes, that queen of jazz. She's got big ears, she's got big ears, she's got big ears, that queen of jazz. Fifi the dog, Fifi the dog, the queen of jazz and razzmatazz. Bow wow wow, bow wow wow, she's got big ears, that queen of jazz. The dog, Fifi the dog, the queen of jazz and rise of the tides. Bow wow wow, bow wow wow, she's got curly hair, that queen of jazz. Let's check your answers. What color are Fifi's eyes? Brown. Very good. So the correct sentence is letter B. She's got brown eyes. Very good. Okay. Has she got big, short or dirty ears? She's got big ears. Very good. Okay, and what's Fifi hair like? What's Fifi hair like? Blonde, long, or curly? Letter C. She's got curly hair. Very good. Okay, let's continue. This exercise is also from your activity book on page number 21. Okay? So, what do we have here? We have a word search, okay? So, the first activity is on vocabulary, okay? So, you are going to find the parts of the body and pet words in it. Partes del cuerpo, parts of the body, and mascotas, okay? Pets. Then, color the happy face if you did it well. Si lo hiciste bien, colorea la cara feliz, the happy face. The worried 
face if you did it fairly well and the sad face if you didn't do it well, okay? So you have five minutes to find the words in the word search and then compare your answers with me, okay? Hi again! Did you find the words? Yes? Okay, so now we are going to check them. Okay, so let's start. The first word that we have is teeth. Dientes, teeth. Okay. Shoulders, shoulders. Okay, we have two of them. Neck, cuello, neck. Face, face, cara, face. Stomach, stomach. Feet, pies, feet. Remember, one foot, two feet. The same as one tooth and more than one teeth. Okay, then we have canary, canary, rabbit, rabbit, pony, pony. Okay, so now we are going to write them in the appropriate column. Okay, so parts of the body. We have teeth, shoulders, Shoulders, write them down. Neck, face, stomach, and feet. Very good. Now, pets. Canary, rabbit, pony. Okay. If you have the same words as your teacher, put a tick, okay? Let's continue. In exercise 2, you will practice all the new structures you learned in the unit. Vamos a practicar las estructuras que aprendieron en esta unidad. You have to choose the correct word and complete the sentences. Vas a escoger la palabra correcta para completar las oraciones, okay? So once again, you have five minutes to do the exercise. Let's begin. Okay, time is up. Se acabó el tiempo. Time is up. So I can complete, yo puedo completar, I can complete sentences with have got. Okay? Remember, remember that you have to color the happy face, the worried face, or the sad face, okay? So, number one, got big ears. You say, I got or I've got. I've got, very good. Yo tengo, I've got big ears. Well done. Number two, cheese curly hair. Ella tiene el cabello ondulado. She's got or she's has. Number two. She's got. Well done, guys. Very good. Number three. Got blue eyes. He or he's got. He's got blue eyes. Number four, we have a question, okay? Question, there is an inversion. She got dirty hands. Tiene las manos sucias, dirty hands. Have she got or has she got? Has she got, very good. And number five, no, she hasn't or no, she haven't. No, she 
hasn't. Very good. Ella no lo tiene, no las tiene. No, she hasn't. Well done. That's all for today. So in order to finish, you are going to describe yourself or someone from your family using has got, hasn't got. Do it in your notebook with extra points, okay? Have a nice week and see you next time. Bye-bye.